Praise the Lord. Welcome to a brief Bible Reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made me will rejoice and be glad in it. We are reading from the book of Psalm 67 and today we look at verse number 1 and 2. Verse 1 says, May God be merciful and bless us. May his face smile with favor on us. May your ways be known throughout the earth. You are saving power among people everywhere. This is a wonderful prayer. A prayer to, the, uh, to, to tell us that God delights in doing good to us. And the first thing that we see the psalmist talk about is the mercies of God. That may God be merciful. And that's our prayer today. May we experience the mercies of God in all what we do. Secondly, may he bless us. May he bless the work of your hands. May he bless your thoughts. May he bless your plans. May the Lord bless us. And you know, his blessings take us to greater heights. His blessings help us to look forward to tomorrow. And not only so, but we look forward in hope and with hope. The third thing is that may his face smile with favor on us. You know what it means to have God's face smile with favor on us? It means that we shall experience great change, great joy, because when the Lord looks upon us with a smile, and not only so, a smile with favor, our lives will never be the same again. As we continue trusting God, may he be merciful upon you. May he bless you and may his face smile with favor upon you. Verse number two shows us that when God does all this to us, showing us his mercy, blessing us, smiling on us with favor, when he does that, we desire more and more to know his ways. And the psalmist says, may your ways be known throughout the earth. As we talk about throughout the earth, we are first looking at ourselves, that may I continue to know the ways of the Lord, in all my undertakings, may I continue to know the ways of the Lord. Again, we desire to experience his saving power. This saving power goes and can reach out to each and everyone. And the psalmist says that may your saving power also be known among people everywhere. When God blesses us, when he shows us his mercy, when he gives us a new beginning, when he lifts us, and even when he smiles on our issues, we do not stop there. We do not say that now we are where we wanted. Yes, we may get where we desired, but the desire to know God more and more should grow day in, day out. And no wonder the psalmist says, may your ways be known throughout the earth. May I know your ways, O Lord. And may experience your saving power. And this power is able to envelop and to embrace everybody in the entire world. The psalmist gives us a good beginning this week. As we talk about God's mercy, this is what we desire and we need, all of us. As we talk about God's blessings, this is what we desire, brothers and sisters. We desire God's blessings as we go out and as we come in and again. There are situations in our lives that look as if they have decided no, nothing can change them. There are issues we struggle with and we feel as though this one cannot change. Let me assure you this, that when the Lord's face smiles on you with favor, there is no situation that is so hard or difficult for God to change. There are things that look as if they were just meant to be like so. No, when the Lord smiles on, on you with favor, that situation must change. Desire that the Lord's mercy may take charge in your life. Desire that his blessings may land on you. And desire to experience God's smiling face, a smiling face with favor, and your life will never be the same again. May God bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely week. Shalom.